I am Dr. Vaseem Sajjad and today we will learn how we can differentiate between a recurrent brain tumor and the radiation necrosis. Differentiation between radiation necrosis and recurrence of a brain tumor is very important in clinical practice because when a tumor is resected and after resection radiotherapy is given then there is radiation necrosis in the brain parenchyma and there can also be recurrence of the brain tumor to differentiate whether it is recurrence of the brain tumor or it is a radiation necrosis is very important because it altogether changes our management so if we suspect recurrence or radiation necrosis we need a contrast enhanced MRI brain or CT brain. In radiation necrosis, the contrast enhancement will be comparatively less than the contrast enhancement in the recurrent tumor. The next important point is we use ADC values from diffusion weighted MRI. We perform diffusion weighted MRI if the ADC values are higher. It means that the cellularity of the lesion is less. If cellularity of the lesion is less, ADC values will be higher because there is unrestricted diffusion of the hydrogen atoms in the lesion. If ADC values are higher, then it means that the lesion is low cellular and it is radiation necrosis because when there is recurrence of the tumor the lesion will be highly cellular there will be restricted diffusion and adc values will be low so that's the most important differentiating feature between the radiation necrosis and the recurrence of the brain tumors another important point is we use fluorodeoxy glucose uptake scans if there is uptake of the fluorodeoxyglucose, then it means that there is recurrence of the tumor because radiation necrosis does not uptake the FDG molecules.